Hello, my name is Jorge Grossman and I teach music composition here at Ithaca College. The purpose of this video is to walk you through a few details of my orchestra piece Gravitasoins, Gravitations, which is being performed by the Ithaca College Symphony Orchestra on October 13. My musical language, although inherently atonal, values harmonic motion and pitch centricity. Pitch centricity has been described as an alternative method to common practice tonality in which a particular pitch is given a higher hierarchical value than the others, therefore acting as a harmonic gravitational center. This harmonic gravitation underpins the pitch structure of my orchestral piece, Gravitações, in Portuguese, Gravitations. The astrophysical connotation of the term gravitation also plays a role in how my piece is constructed. Genevan physicist Georges-Louis Le Sage, 1724-1803, developed a theory of gravitation that contradicted the more widely accepted vortex theories. Le Sage's theory was based on the action of small particles, the so-called corpuscule ultramondin, which moved at high speeds in all directions throughout the universe. As pointed out by Jada Berger, Le Sage understood the ultramundane corpuscles as subtle celestial matter and carriers of the primordial movements in the universe, which were characterized by their proximity to the divine. This fascinating and otherworldly theory served as inspiration for my orchestral piece. It gave me an idea of treating musical material in similar ways as the behavior of the spheres in space. Furthermore, I found the perfect metaphor for my musical gravitational points, which are generally represented by orchestral unisons using longer note values throughout my piece. These gravitational points are often preceded by fast note values, musical corpuscles, as it were, which carry on the basic harmonic and rhythmic motion toward a pitch center. An example of such technique takes place right at bars 17 and 18, where fast, contrary motion quintuplets in the woodwinds emphasize the arrival at two longer pitches, B flat and C, played by the trumpets and horns. satellite layers in the orchestral fabric. One such example takes place right at bar 111, where off-stage trumpets present musical material that is quite independent from that which is played by on-stage instruments. Later on, while the strings seem to be not quite finished with a lyrical and pensive melodic line, they are juxtaposed with two of these satellite materials, the repeated B-flats in harp and winds, and then a playful and much faster passage in oboe's English horn and clarinets at rehearsal H.
Gravitations is structured in three different sections. Although I normally conceive of musical form as a dynamic and kinetic process, rather than a static, architectural one. This dynamic approach to form is guided by the behavior of discrete musical qualities, parameters such as harmonic saturation, rhythmic density, registral trajectory, among others. I will give here one example of how I use rhythmic saturation to create formal direction in my piece. The musical material at rehearsal C and rehearsal D is similar. However, the material at rehearsal C is presented in a compressed version at rehearsal D. If we observe, for instance, the number of rests between the punctuated, almost percussive chords in the winds at the second bar of C, and compare them to the second bar of D, we perceive a reduction in the number of rests between these punctuated chords. Even the time signature had to be altered from a 7-8 to a shorter 5-8. The effect, less silence between the percussive chords, more events in the same period of time, higher tension, and a much higher level of energy, all which, in my view, reinforce the formal direction of the piece and the dramatic contour of the musical narrative. I wrote the score of Gravita Soings within a month during the winter break of 2015, working an average of 16 hours a day. Gravita Soings was commissioned by the Sao Paulo Symphony Orchestra and its music director, Marin Alsop, and it was premiered at the Winter Festival of Campos do Jordão in July of 2016. The piece was played again as part of the orchestra's season at Sala São Paulo during its 2017 season. <laughs>